Canada has deported a man more than a quarter century after he arrived here. Mahmoud Mohammed Issa Mohammed was convicted for his role in a terrorist attack on an Israeli plane back in 1968. Immigration Minister Jason Kenney says he came to this country with a fake identity and now he has been sent to Lebanon. Rosemary Barton joins us with more on the story. So who exactly is Mahmoud Mohammed Issa Mohammed? Well, he is a 70-year-old man who on Saturday at 4 a.m. got the knock at the door that he was leaving Canada after 26 years of trying to stay here. You highlighted uh, some of the reasons why this government wanted him out, Reshmi. He hijacked a civilian aircraft in 1968 in Athens. It was an Israeli aircraft. He killed one passenger, hurt others, and uh, so he was convicted of manslaughter in Greece in 1970 and sentenced there. He was also a member of the Popular Front for the liberation of Palestine, something uh, that he began doing when he was in his 20s. He spent some time, he, he managed to get out of prison uh, in Greece, and he spent some time traveling throughout the Middle East. He finally came into Canada in 1987, as you mentioned, under a false name, never said anything about his past criminal convictions. And it wasn't until 1988 that Canada tried to deport him, but they failed. Again and again and again, the government failed because uh, Issa Mohammed decided to try and claim refugee status. And the immigration minister, Jason Kenney, says that he worked every loophole and tried everything he could to try and stay in this country. The immigration minister says that things have tightened up considerably um, and that this kind of thing wouldn't happen again. But he says that he is happy that this man has been deported to Lebanon, where he is not a citizen, but where he does have some ties. Here's the immigration minister. This case is a almost a comedy of errors with delays, with a system that was so bogged down in redundant process and endless appeals that it seemed to some like we would never be able uh, to enforce the integrity of Canada's immigration system and deport this terrorist killer. As I said, the immigration minister says that things have changed considerably in terms of biometric visas, uh, information sharing between countries, and he doesn't believe that a man like this would be allowed into the country in the first place. However, he was asked who is next on the list as the government tries to crack down on convicted criminals and removing them from this country. And Jason Kenney pointed specifically to countries that have undergone a regime change. He named, for instance, Egypt. He says that there are members, uh, Egypt, Egyptian nationals in Canada right now, who were members of the Muslim Brotherhood, who may be convicted criminals or terrorists. And he says that they claim they could not return to Egypt because they were worried for their safety. Uh, Jason Kenney says now that the Muslim Brotherhood has taken over governance of that country, that that risk is no longer there and so certainly the Canadian government will be looking at those files and others where regime change has happened in countries uh, in recent months and look at uh, moving those people back to their countries as well.